It's a mere four days until Oscar Sunday. Workers are racing to get as much done and set up as possible before the upcoming storm. And our entertainment guru, George Pinocchio, is live outside the Dolby Theater to give us a look at how it's going. Hey, George. Well, hello. I think this has changed remarkably since yesterday. I'll just step out of view so you can see what's there now. A lot of in the distance you'll see things across where the bleachers are, those are all LED lights. They were lit earlier today, and those lights are going to look pretty spectacular when the red carpet eventually opens on Sunday. Uh, we see dozens of people here now. I think they're all getting the lay of the land because they have to make sure they get everything done on schedule. And today something ha happened on schedule, clockwork as always. It's one of the traditional ceremonies that takes place here on Oscar's red carpet. We saw uh, officially the red carpet be rolled out this morning um, kind of signaling the beginning of this Oscar madness that leads up to Oscar Sunday. I was on the carpet last night when it unofficially rolled out but this is one of those moments that people like to capture to be sent to media outlets all around the world. Now the 90th Oscar ceremony is going to include many stars who've been here many times before but also this year is going to feature a slew of first-timers, many of them making history. On Oscar's red carpet this Sunday, we'll be celebrating some historic firsts. Get Out's Jordan Peele is the first African-American to be nominated for directing, writing, and producing in the same year. Lady Bird's Greta Gerwig is the first woman to be nominated for Best Director, along with having a Best Original Screenplay nomination. Dee Reese is the first African-American woman nominated for Best Screenplay. It's for Mudbound. Her cinematographer, Rachel Morrison, is the first woman in Oscar's 90-year history to be nominated in her field. My reaction was actually, how could it have been 90 years? As the first woman in Oscar history to be nominated in that category, she is both aware of those who came before her and those still trying to break through. And there's been so much great work by, by female DPs, you know, in, in decades past. Um, but, you know, I, I am excited by the premise that this has been encouraging for so many other women and that hopefully they'll get more people behind the camera and, you know, and hopefully this will be the beginning of the first of many. It makes me hopeful for a future where it's commonplace and not uh, an anomaly anymore. Morrison followed up her work on Mudbound with a little film you may have heard of, Black Panther. Yeah, I mean, they really couldn't be any more different, um, and I couldn't be any more proud of both of them. Rachel hopes with the success last year of several female-centered films like Wonder Woman, studios hear this as a wake-up call. If this is an industry that's ultimately driven by economy, you just look at, at exactly that, and it should hopefully lead to more women-led films, more films led by women. I mean, I, I think that the, I guess the proof is in the numbers.